Hello, welcome to the kitchen with me. I am the amazing vegan and it is Monday evening. And Monday evenings, you spend in the kitchen with me, the amazing vegan. Hello everybody, I missed you all. I say it all the time, a week is too long to be away from you all. I love you all and I miss you all. Come on in the kitchen with me. Where is everybody today? Come on in the kitchen with me. When you get in, look around and then start to tag and share, all right? It's okay you check out your surroundings before you invite people in. That's a-okay. But come on in a room with me, check things out a little bit, and then begin to tag and share for me, all right? It's Monday night, y'all. I miss y'all. Yes, it's Monday night. It is 6 o'clock. And at six o'clock on Monday evenings, you spend the evening with me, in the kitchen with me, the amazing being. And don't stand out there and watch, come on in. You don't have to stand outside of the window. Come on in and let your presence be made known. I see you watching and I appreciate you tapping and coming in in with me. Come on in with me. Where is everybody? Come on in with me. Yes, tag and share your, with your friends, your family members. Share on your pages, share on your groups, the groups that you are in, tag and share. Come on in the kitchen with me, the amazing vegan. I miss you all. What is everybody up to? Come on and talk with me. Hi, Jazz. Hello there, honey. What's going on with you? When you come in, check things out and begin to invite others in the room. That's how we do it here. Hi, India. I miss you all. I'm giving you all a big virtual hug. <laughs> I miss you all. What is everybody up to? Again, when you come into the room, scope out the room, and then begin to invite others in. I like that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Today, we have um, an amazing show today. Monday. Hey, Vicky. Mondays are designed for me, all right? I love being in the kitchen with you all. I miss you too, Indy. July is also known as National Ice Cream Month. We love ice cream. Listen, ice cream is the best treat in the whole world. Hi, Dorita. <laughs> I love you all so much. Begin to tag and share once you come in the room with me. I love you all so much. I July is National Ice Cream Month, okay? And so just a little to fill you in before we get started. Um, I have always been an ice cream fan. Always, always, always. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. So when I went vegan, I started to eat the dairy-free. Now, these different brands that are out, make ice cream with uh, coconut milk, uh, almond milk, cashew milk. Uh, I think maybe I've had, had it like maybe five, six different ways. However, they also have a ton of sugars and unwanted sugars that I tried to stay away from. So the first two years of me being vegan, was still quite a struggle only because I still had this hate love relationship with snacking. It is what it is. So now I try to take my snacking in a different direction, but I still snack. So with ice cream, I found these dairy free ice creams um, by different brands. Uh, I don't want to start shouting out brands, but if you know, you know. And so um, a lot of them still have a lot of sugar and unwanted additives and preservatives and so on. So I found a way to enjoy ice cream, making it a vegan way, making it at home. But we don't really call it ice cream. We call it nice cream with an N because it's nicer on your body. <laughs> it's nicer on your curves. It's nicer on your waistline. It's so much nicer for your digestive system. It's so much nicer if you already have things going on with you, okay? So today we are going to make some drum roll in your mind. 
some butter pecan nice cream. Oh my, yes. We are making butter pecan or pecan, if you fancy, butter pecan ice cream, also called butter pecan nice cream because it's nicer to us. All right now, Dorita said, all right now, we gonna do this thing today, all right? Also, I have today for you chocolate lovers, some of us like a little chocolate a little bit more than others. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Gabriel. I have, before we get into our nice cream, we are going to make this very, 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 very easy recipe for brownies. Oh! Hi, Asia. When you come into the room, take a look around and then invite your friends, all right? We're gonna have a, we're gonna try this very, 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 very easy recipe for these brownies, okay? Very simple. I think it's only like six ingredients. Very simple, very easy. Hi, Byron. Very simple, very easy. Only takes a couple minutes to mix together. You put it in the pan, you throw it in your oven. Simple, very simple. Don't forget to tag and share. So we're gonna do this before we get off into our butter pecan nice cream, okay? All right, so let's get busy. Yeah, everybody's in the room, let's get busy. Y'all wash your hands, let's get busy. So I'm gonna sit these over to the side. And for our nice cream, of course, I'll be using my best friend today, my handy dandy food processor, okay? So we wanna get started with our brownies, okay? Again, very, very, very simple, very simple. So we're gonna use a cup of almond butter, okay? So we got some almond butter here. And we're gonna add a cup of almond butter. It's already basically measured out, so I'm just gonna put it over into the bowl. If you want to use peanut butter, you can. It works the same. So what if you say, Mason, why don't I have almond butter? I just have peanut butter. You can use peanut butter. Hi, Nick. Nick Rashad, hello there. Don't forget to tag and share. So we're gonna put our cup of almond butter and it's the smooth, it's not the crunchy, into our bowl. And let's scrape this down over into there. Best friend, <laughs> yes, India. You know my food processor and my juicer and my ninja, the dynamic trio. <laughs> They work so well with me, and they're so patient. This almond butter can get a little messy, but that's okay, we always have towels. You're gonna use six ounces of maple. Now, you don't need a lot of maple for this. Six ounces is enough, so I'm going to, and a majority of the time I already have everything pre-measured. So we're gonna add our maple. All right, so, so far we have our almond butter, our smooth, our creamy almond butter. We have our maple. Um, this recipe, we don't have to use sugars, you know, all the extra sugars. Maple is natural. It's a natural sweetener. It's not maple flavored syrup. It's real maple. Tap from a tree. It's real maple. So we want to use things that are plant-based and maple is plant-based, okay? Now, you can use a tablespoon of vanilla. But today, I absolutely love vanilla bean. So we're gonna use the vanilla bean. We're gonna open up this little pod and we're gonna take the vanilla bean out of there, okay? So let's cut this open and let's take out, can you all see that? Okay, let's scrape out the little beans out of the little pod. I say, oh, that's, that's vanilla? Why isn't it white? This is vanilla. <laughs> yes, this is vanilla. Vanillas, vanillas, as my brother would probably say, vanillas. Vanilla, it's brown. Hi, Jay. Hi, Takesha. You guys come in, look around and tag and share. So we're gonna take the vanilla bean and it's so pretty. 
Look how dark that is. I wish you all could smell this. I don't know what uh, my brother has been doing. He's supposed to been working on smell-o-vision. I don't think he's gone very far with that. Look at that. You see that? That's vanilla bean in there. That's real vanilla, okay? So we're gonna take this out. We're just gonna scrape it along with our knife. See, we scraped it out and here we go. We got our vanilla bean. See, simple. Very, very, very simple. And you can find vanilla bean at the grocery store. Nothing fancy. Nothing you have to go to a special market for. We're just gonna dump that right over in our bowl. All right. Then we're gonna add a pinch of salt. Just a pinch. Where is everybody? What are you guys doing? <laughs> smell a vision. Smell a who? Smell a vision. He was supposed to be working on smell a vision for us, remember? So that you all can start smelling some of this stuff. We're gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder. Tag and share. <laughs> and then we're gonna add, that has already been measured out, our cocoa powder, okay? Make sure it is unsweetened. You don't want the sweetened one. It's gonna make it too sweet. You already have your maple that's sweetened, that's already sweetening things up, okay? Unsweetened, all right? This has already been measured out. We're just gonna add it in there. Should have put on a mask. <clears throat> <clears throat> this cocoa powder is flying up. It's a bit messy, but we're gonna get through it. Okay? Hang in there with me. We're gonna get through it. Take a little whisk and take our time with it. Talk to me while we take our time with this brownie batter. And it is messy. I should have worn an apron today. Oh, you were too late, Jay. It was already... Okay. Okay. Well, let's find out how we can use it. <laughs> Without being sued. <laughs> and this whisk. Look at all this chocolate cloud. And this is very, very... Firm, stiff. Hello! I'm so, hi Muff, I'm so glad you decided to join us today. Today, because July is National Ice Cream Month. How many of us knew that? I'm sure all the real ice cream fans knew that. July is National Ice Cream Month. So today we're going to be making some butter pecan nice cream with an N because it's nicer to our bodies than just regular ice cream. If you are anything like me, you will eat ice cream every day. But because of the amount of things that are in the ice creams that we like so much, it doesn't like us in return. And we're fighting with this dough. So right now we're making... For those of you that are just joining in with us, we're making our batter for our brownies. Our very simple, I think, six ingredient brownies. Very simple. They're simple, but they're giving me a hard time. Butter pecan is your favorite? Oh my goodness. I think that was my mother's favorite as well. You ever see a person say, I want the butter pecan ice cream. And then they get the butter pecan and then they suck all the ice cream off of the pecans and spit them out. We don't do that. <laughs> That's a no, no. Don't forget to tag and share chocolate cloud. <laughs> <laughs> are you all looking at your friends comments he, he said his friends used to call him chocolate cloud 
back in the day. Listen, I'm not even gonna comment on that. Okay, so we have our mix. <laughs> we have our mix, our batter, our brownie batter all together. So we're gonna take a pan. This has gotten messy, but it's okay. It's a good messy. It's a good messy. I'm not gonna comment on that one, Jay. So we're gonna take our pan and we're gonna line it with some parchment paper. Now, you don't need to oil this. You can if you want, but you don't have to. And just kind of fold the extra pieces off to the side or you can use a clip, a little, I don't know, we call them potato chip bag clips. But we're just gonna put this over here. All right? Stay there. And we're going to just scrape it over into our pan. Okay? There we go. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> I'm always yelling. I I'm not gonna change that, I don't think. It's just what I do. I yell as you all enter the room because I'm always so excited to see you all. Okay, so we put our batter, our brownie batter into the pan. And then we're just gonna take our little scraper or your spatula, whatever you have, and just press it out into the pan. That's it. See how simple that was? Very, very simple. Now these brownies you can store in an airtight container. Keep them moist. Make them for the kids. Now, of course, if you want to make more, just double or triple your ingredients, okay? This was just for this size pan, this size loaf pan. Triple or double your ingredients to make more. Very simple. <laughs> because I'm excited when you all come in a room, so I yell, hi, Lisa. <laughs> okay, so we have our brownie batter. I'll press that into our pan. Voila. That's it. We're going to throw this in the oven. You're going to bake it for 325 for an hour. Yes, one hour. Because you're going to slow cook it. Not in a crock pot or anything, but temperature is a little low, okay? So we're going to throw this into the oven. One hour. All right? And that's it. One hour, you're going to take them out. You're going to let them cool. You're going to slice them. You're going to have some brownies. Very simple. This, in, this recipe is so simple, you can give it to your children and let them do it. And you can go have a seat. I would just watch them with the heat in the oven just to, for safety purposes, okay? Don't send the babies in the kitchen with a hot oven and tell them to go have their way. Let's stay safe, okay? All right. Now. Now. Where's a kid when you need one? To say, here. Who? And let's be honest. How many of you stood around? Hi, Jeff. How many of you stood around when your mother was baking or cooking and asked to lick the whisk? Let's be honest. Me. I know Jason did. We used to fight over it. Yes, Dorita, I did too. But we're not gonna eat this, we're gonna wash it. I don't have a little one standing around begging for it, so I'm just gonna wash it. Can you guys see my flowers? They are absolutely beautiful. I love flowers. And I was surprised with those flowers by my baby boy. He knows his mother loves flowers. I love flowers, he knows it. So we're gonna get started on our butter pecan ice cream. We ready? So let's get our, our best friend. Yes, we are using our best friend today. Let's, th let's show some love to my best friend. Come on, throw some thumbs up and some hearts up. This is my best friend. This best friend gets the work done for me, okay? So we are going to go get our bananas from the freezer because we are making nice cream because it's nicer for our systems and for our figures, those of us that are trying to hold on to one. <laughs> it's nicer for us. So we're going to, hey, best friend, thank you. So I'm going to get the bananas from the freezer, okay? Because we need our bananas to be frozen. The riper, the better. If riper is a word, it may be. 
if your bananas are very ripe, you want to use them. You don't want to use bananas that are not ripe yet because they won't be sweet, okay? So the ripest, the riper, the better. So let me go get our bananas, okay? Stay there. Okay, so I have our bananas and I froze five of them, okay? And I left them in a row so that we can measure them out the correct way. Because for every one banana, you're gonna use this recipe. Every time you add a banana, are you, can you guys see here? I don't know what's happening here. For every two bananas, you're gonna double it, all right? And so on and so on. So with this recipe, I'm going to use two frozen bananas, okay? So we're gonna put our frozen bananas into our best friend. So I'm going to use two. You wanna cut them up into chunks before you freeze them. It works better. Let's see which ones are more froze. I think this one. So I'm gonna use two. And then I'm gonna sit this over to the side because I need a sip of water. Are you guys drinking your water? I hope so. I gotta go to sleep for work. Okay, Lisa, I thank you for coming in the room with us. Thank you for coming into the kitchen with me. I thank you. Always go back later and find the recipes and make them and share them. Thank you so much. So we're gonna take some roasted pecans and we're gonna take a cup full of them. And we're just gonna coarsely chop them. Now, for this recipe, you need a pinch of salt. But because our pecans are salted, we don't need the pinch of salt today because they already have some in there, okay? So I'm just gonna chop them a little bit. I'm not finely chopping them, I'm coarsely chopping them because we don't want them into tiny pieces because we're going to add them to our food processor, okay? So what is some of you guys' favorite ice cream? I think my daughter loves and my oldest son loves pistachio ice cream. I used to, I normally like anything with caramel or peanut butter for myself. Okay, so we have our pecans over here and don't forget to share. Don't forget to tag and share. Please, thank you. We're gonna take this last vanilla bean and we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier. We're gonna slice it down the middle. Preferably take these little end pieces off. I'm gonna open that up and scrape out our vanilla bean. This one's a little tough. Let's scrape a little more. I'm gonna go ahead before my bananas start to thaw out a little bit put this on our food processor just enough to chop them a little bit we're just gonna pull we're just gonna um pulse up pulsate them just to chop them a little bit. black water Ooh, that black water sound all right Roasted pecan is what you want to go with. Unless you get the raw ones and then you can roast them yourselves. It's not that hard. I'm going to scrape down my sides with my banana. So make sure it's all in there. So this is about where we want it. This is about where we want it, okay? So before they thaw, we're going to add our pecans. Let's see, you guys can see that. There we go. We're gonna add our pecans and the vanilla. So this is a whole one. So we'll just take out half of that. So that's enough for this recipe and we'll save the other half for some for later, okay? <laughs> you 
Yes, you do. Pe Look, I knew somebody was going to be looking. Somebody's eyeballs are roaming in the back. Yes, you do. Pe Eliminate in the back. You do spy with your nosy eye some watermelon lemonade by Amazing Vegan. Yes, you do, my dear. <laughs> yes, you do. Froze up a minute. Okay, are we back? Give me some thumbs, thumbs up if we're back. If we're not freezing and we're flowing good, let me know. Are we here? All right. So we've added our vanilla bean. We've added our pecans. We don't have to add the pinch of salt because our pecans are salted. Not a lot of salt, lightly salted. And let's add our maple, okay? Two tablespoons of maple. All right. Then we want to put it back, strap it back down. And I'm dropping stuff. I dropped that. We're going to fix this. We're going to give this a quick... We live. Everything happens on live. <laughs> Anything is liable to happen. But we're safe. All right. These numbers are very low. You all begin to tag and share for me, please. Okay. So we're, we're ready. We wash. My best friend, not too upset. But we all back. So we're going to put this, snap this back down. Okay, and we're going to put it back on and mix it back up a little bit longer, just enough to kind of mix in everything together. And then we'll have some nice cream. I'm moving too fast or the, the video is moving too fast. You guys missed the step. I'll repeat myself. And I smell those brownies. Oh my God. I smell the brownies. Oh my goodness. Now, you can put this back into the freezer or you can eat it soft. Some people like their ice cream to sit out on the counter and thaw out a little bit. Some people like to eat it hard and struggle with it out of the container. It's totally up to you. I like mine a little bit soft, okay? So we're gonna put a little bit in our bowl. And we have our butter pecan nice cream. Look at there. Oh, ooh. Y'all ready for me to taste this? Thumbs up, are we there? Did it stop? It's still going. Okay, good. All right. So we finished our butter pecan ice cream. You can also, if, you, if you're not a butter pecan fan, you can use strawberries. You can use mango. You can use peaches. You can use whatever fruit you like for your ice cream. You also can use uh, a caramel sauce or make your own caramel. Or you can use a chocolate sauce. You can make your own. You can add walnuts. Dorita, you like black walnut. You can add, um, you can add black walnuts. You can use, you can add cashews. Whatever your preference is, you can add it. I went along with the uh, butter pecan, but you can always, you will <laughs> You can add whatever frozen fruit, frozen or fresh. If you're gonna do a uh, frozen, it's going to get, the consistency of it is going to stay frozen and it won't, you know. You won't have to refreeze it, okay? You can take this and put it back in the freezer. I'm going to put this in the freezer because I wanted to firm up just a little bit more. I'm actually going to make a whole nother batch and then I'm going to freeze it because then I'll have traffic through here in a minute saying, what's that? I want some. So I'm going to make another batch and then I'm going to freeze it, okay? And then my brownies should be done, um, I don't know, another 40 minutes or so and they'll be done. So we'll be all set. Even if you want to just do vanilla and use the vanilla bean with the frozen bananas and take them and put them on top of your brownies. Both ways work, all right? So we're going to taste our butter pecan, nice cream. Oh my God. 
This is so, this so good. And the pecans are not soggy. They still got that crunch on them. Oh, this is so freaking good. This is so, yeah, I'm gonna have to make another batch. It's okay, this is what I do. This is so good. I have to take another spoonful. I want y'all. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. The best part about it is, it's bananas. It's fruit. It's fruit. <laughs> you can do this at home and it's fruit. You cannot go wrong with this. And you don't have to feel guilty. Because myself, I can eat a whole pint of ice cream. Because if I'm watching a good movie, or if I'm on the phone, or if I'm scrolling through Facebook or Instagram or whatever, I lose track of time. And before you know it, I look down into my container and I'm at the bottom of the cardboard like, oh, I've eaten a whole pint of ice cream and then I feel bad. And then I'm like, oh, I gotta walk an extra hour when I go do my walking. Hi, Gabby. I don't want to walk an extra hour. I want to eat stuff and still feel okay about it. I don't want to feel guilty. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to be guilty. I want to eat and enjoy. And that's one of the perks about being a vegan. That's double the perks about being the amazing vegan. All right. So make this recipe for this butter pecan nice cream. Nice cream because it's nicer to you and for you. Okay. Y'all go ahead and make this recipe. Make the recipe for these easy. Oh, I didn't taste the brownie. Let's see. Mm-mm. Y'all don't have me in trouble. Listen. Brownies and ice cream. Who is in trouble? Mm-mm. Y'all gonna make this stuff. Very simple. Very easy. What, six ingredients? And I don't know what, four or five ingredients? You can't go wrong with that. Nothing complicated. You can make these things yourself. Okay? Go and check out these, make these recipes. Share this video with your family and friends. If they are not on social media, they can always go on YouTube and find the videos and try these recipes, okay? This is more uh, better for yourself. It's not loaded with additives and extra sugars. The only sweetener that's in the nice cream is the maple, and it's real maple, and the sweetness from the ripe bananas. That's it. That sounds guilt-free to me. I can do that. Make this recipe, okay? I love you all. I appreciate you all. Continue to share this video, okay? And until next time, continue to put some goodness in the inside. Remove some of that nasty stuff. Take out some of that stuff that's not doing your body any good. We've made it a habit of adding all the unnecessary things into our bodies. Things our bodies don't need. Things that um, will shut our bodies down over time. Let's remove those things. Hello there, James. Let's remove those things. Let's remove them. If you are, don't feel like you can remove them all in one day, remove one thing a week, one thing a day, one thing a month until you have it all together. Remember, baby steps are steps too. Yes, they are. Baby steps are steps too. We don't all walk at the same time, okay? I'm going this way. We're still talking about goodness, but I'm gonna go this way because this is gonna help somebody. Baby steps are steps too. We don't all walk at the same time. Listen, I have a set of twins. They did not walk at the same, same time. They didn't talk at the same time. They weren't potty trained at the same time, but they did walk eventually, but not at the same time. You may not be able to walk the same time I walk. I may not be able to walk the same time you can walk, but make some baby steps. Start taking some of these things out of your diet, out of your lifestyle and add some healthier options in. Your body, your organs are going to thank you. I promise you. They will appreciate you, okay? I love you all. Continue to share this video until next time. This is The Amazing Vegan. I love you all. Be blessed.